Hi, in previous lecture we have discussed PCA. The subspace created by PCA preserves the information which is highly correlated. Let us explain this, this with an example. Suppose these are, these are points of the data set and these points are highly correlated in this direction. PC has selected this direction for representing this data. When we try to recover this data, we can see that this, all the points will be projected on this line. This point here, this point here on this line, this point here on this line, this point here on this line. And these, line, these points will be recovered like this. This is, a very, this is a very good technique for representing the points, but we can see a problem here. These two points are located like this, vertical to this line. Now, if we project these two points on this line, these are very, very close to each other and it becomes very difficult to discriminate these two points. Because the difference of these two points lie in this direction, but PCA has selected this line and this line is not capable to differentiate, distinguish these two points. See here, these points are very close to each other. PC has selected this line because data set is highly correlated in this direction. Another example we can take for representing O and Q, these two characters. PC done to create a subspace to represent O and Q will preserve the uh, dimensions which emphasize on representation of circle only because this is the bold part of the characters. But this, uh, the dimensions representing tail will be removed by the PCA because these dimensions will, be not, will not be the principal dimensions. But we know that to differentiate these two characters, only this tail is important and this uh, tail will be removed by the PCA. The solution, to this, this, the solution to this problem is linear discriminant analysis called LDA in short. And uh, LDA seeks to reduce dimensionality while preserving as much of the class discriminatory information. This concentrate on, LDA concentrate on the difference or discriminate information of the classes. Assume that we have a set of d-dimensional samples like this, x1, x2, xn, and uh, these points belong to class omega1 and some point n2 belongs to class omega2. We seek to obtain a scalar by by projecting the sample x onto a line y equal to omega transpose x. Suppose these are two points, two classes. One class is represented by red points and other uh, second class is represented by blue points. Now, if we try to project these points on this line, see this line here at, at the uh, bottom. This line, if we pro uh, project all the points on this line, these points are uh, mixed to each other and it is very difficult to separate these two points. Separability is very poor here. But if we orient this line at this point, at this place, uh, when the ori orientation of this line is this, then when we project these points on this line, these points are very much separated from each other. Good separability can be seen here. In order to find a good projection vector, we need to define a measure for separation. Suppose we take mean vector for uh, measurement of separation. So this omega 1 is mean vector of these points and omega 2 is mean vector of these points. Now if we take difference of omega 1 and omega, omega, and omega 2, in, suppose we take difference in this direction, this is less and in this direction, this is more. So when we take this difference, this difference is significant. But if we project these point on this line, on this line which we have selected because of the greater difference, then we can easily see that these two classes are overlapping to each other. If we, if we plot these point here down on this line, these point here down on this line, and these blue point here down this line, then these red points from here to here and blue point from here to here will be overlapped. So only mean differences cannot be a good criteria because mean cannot tell about the scatter of the data or you can say the shape of the class. Fisher suggested maximizing the difference between the means normalized by measure of the within class scatter. He has defined a scatter of the classes. For each class, we define a scatter and equivalent of the variance as SI square scatter by minus mu i square. This we can see is a variance where the quantity S1 square plus S2 square is called within class scatter. 
now we try to maximize this quantity the difference of the mean squared and divided by this is normalized by a scatter of the class now we are looking for a projection where examples from the same class are projected very close to each other and at the same time the projected mean as are as further apart as possible these are the classes as we have taken in the previous slide and uh, if we select this line then we can see that uh, we are maximizing the difference between these means and minimizing the scatter here we can see the difference between pca and lda where pca is good for representing a data set when but it is not very good for classification purpose and lda uses the separability information and it is good for uh, classification purpose okay thank you